Hello and welcome to Unit 1, Part 2 of the IT Asset Management Certification course from One World Training. We are continuing in Part 2, the IT Asset Management definitions. We begin with understanding requirements in managing assets, meaning the different types of asset decision making at different levels or management levels of the organization. Give you a moment to look at this picture. Any organization has this management pyramid. We have the corporate management at the top, and then we have the lower levels of delegated management below them. So at the top, we have the business management. Then we have this CXOs. Then we got the IT asset manager role and other stakeholders, and we got the IT operations at the bottom. Now, this is not a reporting structure. It's how the IT asset management aligns with other levels of work. At the business management level, at the top, we got organization strategic goals and stakeholder expectations, meaning uh, the corporate level focus on strategies such as becoming competitive, improving the risk governance, monitoring the performance of the employees. Whereas at the CXO level, CIO, CFO, CTO, it's about managing the asset portfolio, which includes investment planning, return on capital employed, focusing on risk and sustainability. Then we have the managing asset system level with the IT manager, asset manager focusing on it, focusing on system performance. What that means is it's about establishing and monitoring the asset management. So at the top, we have the business management focusing on strategic goals and understanding stakeholder needs at the highest level. Then we got at the CXO level, the, the more planning for the, regarding the investments, uh, return on capital to be understood, uh, looking at risk management and sustainability which will be known as the overall management of an asset portfolio. Then specific asset management practices, establishing them and monitoring their adherence will come into um, the system performance aspect at the managed asset system level from the IT asset manager role. And then we have at the bottom, the actual day-to-day -day management of assets, such as creating or acquiring assets, requesting them as well utilizing them, maintaining, renewal, and disposing of as per the, um, the asset system that was created. And this is done by IT operation, wherein they look at continuous improvement or optimization of the life cycle activities. Continuing further on the requirements for managing assets, we know that IT assets have value and they exist in many forms, such as people, equipment, reputation, data, contracts, or money. They provide value in different ways over various time frames, And the value could be financial returns, service levels being achieved, customer satisfaction, regulations, compliance, meaning adherence to the regulations. So IT assets, are mostly interconnected, so their value is realized through their combined performance. For example, hardware and software working together within complex systems like delivering business services to support business processes. A retail store through a website, selling items through their website, will have to use various IT assets and people to deliver those services from the website. Now that could be quite complex. Further, asset management presents different decision-making challenges and requirements for where to invest in, how to utilize them the best way, made to maintain them, and how and when to renew or dispose during those life cycle phases. Maximizing the, the portfolio value or the investment value from the IT assets and seeking the optimal value mix from IT assets is complex. Asset management also has to consider stakeholder expectations, the risk of the assets being used or not being used, performance of the assets, the reliability to deliver services properly, the degradation of the assets, 
and the other influences such as volatile uh, economic environment, uncertain supply chains, etc. This is the overall item system, the basic system with minimum requirements. This picture shows us at the top the organization strategic plan. Below that, we have the asset management policy. Below, we have on the left side asset management objectives and strategies, then asset management plans, and the actual life cycle activities of the request, acquire, create, utilize, maintain, dispose of, replace, etc. On the right side, we have through the policy, we have then the development plan for the management system, then the, the established asset management capabilities. Then we have uh, the picture shown with the portfolio asset system and the assets at the bottom. There is continual improvement at, in all these components of the item system. So let's understand this a bit more. At the top, we have the organization strategic plans such as becoming competitive and they may have a high level view or direction on how to achieve it. So, and then the asset management policy should align with those organization strategic plans to achieve those strategies, which could be short-term or long-term. 